Welcome. Let's take a look at a little bit of sparring footage Stefan and I got to record a couple of weeks ago. I suppose we are still a bit rusty and Spear and Shield is a quick weapon combination that heavily relies on precision. So I took the time and added the footage just a bit for you to see it more clearly. As Manciolino would confirm, especially with the one-handed grip, we only count thrusts. Later in the video we'll switch up the grips as well, but here you can see our starting bows in the overhand variant. This bit was just so nice since it's basically exactly a play of Manciolino. As Stefan notices that I parry his low thrusts, he jumps away to escape my punta reversa. You see a lot of probing and one thing that is a particular advantage for the overhand grip is this little throw. Notice you don't need to throw the spear away, you can still just catch it down on the shaft. And this is another one really nice with the grip change into a two-handed version, parrying the opponent's spear away and thrusting them. Basically again just what Manciolino says. So I really like the overhand grip, as you probably can see, but of course underhand isn't too bad either. So this was a pretty tricky exchange. I actually just felt it a bit on my hand, but uh, looking at the footage a couple of days after, you can clearly see the thrust to my hand. One of the best things with the overhand grip is the punta reversa, the thrust from your left to the enemy's right, because that's where his shield isn't. Another thing you need to perfect with spear and shield are like little cavaccionis around the opponent's shield. So you need to disengage a lot to get behind it. Here you see me switching into an underhand grip and instantly regret as Stefan just thrusts around my shield into my chest and my thrust gets too low. So I switch to a two-handed grip, like Marozzo advises, with the right hand in front, parry his thrust and repost. You can probably see that we are not stopping always on the first blow. This is just training for us, sparring, it's not a fight and we train specific things like here not to stop the fight too early. Another great thing about the overhand grip is that it's really easy to thrust from above. Who knew? So I switch once again into an underhand grip and as you can see, you can hold the spear at the rear end, so at the butt, but that also offers your weak to the opponent, so it's not necessarily the best thing. Again, like Marozzo advises, a two-handed grip can make you strong all the way to the spear tip. Here I didn't get my point online in time, so I had to retract my spear to push the thrust into Stefan's knee and that almost got me hit in the head. Earlier we've seen that switching from a one-handed grip into a two-handed one can be very beneficial, but here you can see the exact opposite. Switching from a two-handed grip into a one-handed will give you a surprising amount of range. Like I said, an underhand grip can be just fine as well. And of course you can still thrust from above. But if you struggle 
to deal with an overhand grip, well, it's mostly just practice. So, set up a pal or just put a blanket over a ladder, get a long stick and start training daily. Opening your pinky to middle finger while keeping the grip with your thumb and index works well for me. Feels like throwing the spear pretty much. As for tactics, I cannot preach Manciolino's advice enough. If you want to attack high, start low or here. If you want to hit low, start high to pull their defenses up. Also never parry without an attack and never attack without a parry. Always disengage from the shield, use quick beats and attacks and commit to an attack if you see a tempo. That is a perfect time to attack your opponent. If you would like to know more about this, check out the short lecture I gave on the last year's Swords of the Renaissance. Link in the video description. To conclude, here you see the danger of a slight attack. A beat can easily disarm you. So always bring a sword for backup. In our next episodes of the series, we will take a closer look at dual spear wielding and the overhand's main advantage, the throw. So, Stay tuned and until then, get up and enjoy your training.